Hello and welcome to Teaching Bio. Today we're going to look at the fifth required practical for AQAA level biology and that is the dissection of an organ. So the specification states that um, the organ to be dissected is either a heart or i.e. A, an, a human organ or a plant organ. Um, so dissections allow us to identify different parts, for example the chambers of the heart, the um, sort of different structures of the heart, the aorta, the pulmonary artery, and so on. And also, um, for example, for the dissection of a plant organ, which is the leaf, the organ of a plant is the leaf, it's the palisade mesophyll cells, the xylem, the phloem, the vascular bundles, and so on. Now, what they could ask um, in the exam regarding this practical are sort of what the hazards and therefore the risks and prevention methods are for um, organ dissections. So, for example, the use of a scalpel the risk of that is, of course, um, that you could cut yourself as the scalpel is sharp. So in order to prevent that, you should cut away from yourself. OK, so by cutting away from yourself, it um, prevents you from harming yourself. Don't leave it on the edges, report it and make sure that you disinfect um, any cuts that you receive. Um, blood, the obviously risk of that is that blood could be infected. Um, and therefore could, you know, cause staining and so on. I guess it's a bit of a risk. And though to prevent that, you should wear gloves and a lab coat to prevent staining of clothes and also disinfect workbenches with ethanol or some sort of alcohol to um, prevent the spread of infection and bacteria. Now, if instead, let's say they give you the context of a plant organ dissection, plants obviously contain toxins. So the toxins in plants could cause an allergic reaction as it's irritative because it's carried in the air current. So um, sort of chemicals could be inhaled and therefore in order to prevent that, take care when handling due to the inhalation of pollen, try and avoid that, work in a well-ventilated area and obviously prevent any sort of allergies occurring by informing, allergic reactions occurring by informing the weather is there. So I guess this is the only way they could ask it. It's a bit of a weird sort of question to ask and the more likely one will probably be the first one if they were going to ask. Uh, furthermore, um, you are expected to know how to draw a good biological drawing, okay? So they might either A, make you draw, or B, critique drawing. Um, so the guidelines are to use a sharp pencil, not to shade, not to sketch, to not have interlocking labelling lines. They must be clear and not deceptive than any other ones, and include a scale bar or magnification. So um, here's a question that uh, I've created using a practical. So Practical it uses the context of an insect dissection, okay, which is something that they could ask. So the question says that a group of students carried out a practical to investigate the anatomy of an insect. So if they were to give a sort of question like this um, with a method, I'd suggest reading through and sort of highlighting it, make sure you understand what's happening, and also try and think which part that um, they could ask the questions on. Okay, so with any sort of big extract question, it's good to do stuff like this. So it says to place the SG, okay, so the adult insect, into a syringe barrel feeding in DDT gas, okay, through plastic tubing. The gas is restricted within the barrel and a bag of soda lime will absorb any gas, okay? So as I read this, I might be thinking, you know, what is DDT? Bag of soda lime, that seems to be an important variable that needs to be controlled, I guess. Plastic tubing, look at the picture, look at the size of that 20 centimeters cubed. Then it says to observe what happens to the leg as of SG as it slowly dies, okay? So I'd think, what will happen to the leg if it dies? Well, if it dies, maybe there's some sort of muscle spasm, something happening. It says remove the insect and place on a microscope and a very low magnification to identify the spiracles, okay? Place insect on a shallow dish with a thin layer of wax at the bottom, okay? Fixing it with pins inserted at the legs and thorax, cutting off the wings. So... Then it says, pull back the tip of the abdomen with forceps and insert a pin to hold it down, okay? Tip of the abdomen is pulled back and pins holding it down. With fine pointed scissors, pierce the exoskeleton, as shown in figure B. As you cut, let the lower blade of your scissors pull SG up slightly, okay? So as you cut along, let the lower part of the blade pull the insect up slightly. So it says, pierce here, cut laterally. So think about why that might be the case. Then carefully remove the strip of the exoskeleton from the animal so that you can see the organs inside as shown in figure C. So, first question. Suggest what DDT is and why it was used. So, if we go back to the reference in DDT, it says that the students placed the 
insect into a barrel and fed in DDT gas, okay? The gas is restricted in the barrel, and the bag sword and I will absorb any gas. Observe what happens to the leg of SU as it slowly dies, okay? So if it's dying, it must be due to DDT. Therefore, DDT must be some sort of poisonous or chem poisonous chemical gas to kill the insect, to kill the locust, so that we can use it, okay? So chemical gas to kill locusts. This is what students may observe in step two. Okay, it's step two. So what will happen to the leg? Okay, so any sort of reasonable suggestion, such as um, muscle spasms, okay, that would involve it, that would be as a result of it dying, okay? Suggest two reasons why the piston was used. So let's look back at the um, context of the question. So the piston, if we look at the figure, why do we think the piston needed to be used? Well, perhaps the piston is used to prevent the locust from escaping or it contains the DDT gas or it allows for pressure expansion. Okay, so there's lots of different things that you could say for this. So for example, some of the reasons that I had were a piston to prevent movement or escape of insect, prevent air entering, which okay, the locust could expire, I guess, or it could mix with the DDT gas, ensure DDT is contained within the syringe system and so any reference to hydraulics or pressure expansion. The bag of soda lime absorbs any gas within the syringe. Suggests why this is necessary for safety. So it says that DDT is fed in and a bag of soda lime will absorb any gas. Okay, so as the DDT comes in, it kills the insect and whatever is left in the in there needs to be absorbed. Okay, why is that important? Well, DDT is killing the insect and we don't want to die either. So the bag of soda lime will prevent DDT being released. Um, into sort of the atmosphere or where you're working. So it means that the students or whoever's doing the practical cannot inhale um, any of the gas. So the bag of soda lime absorbs DDT, so it's not released into the lab, okay? So just the practical purpose of the wax in step four. So if we go back to step four, place SG on shallow dish with a thin layer of wax at the bottom, fixing it with pins inserted at the legs and thorax, cutting off the wings, okay? So if we sort of use the figure as well and use that, what do we logically think that a layer of wax could be used for? Well, it's probably being used to keep the locust still and keep it in place so that it doesn't move along with the pins. So the practical purpose of the wax is to prevent the locust from sliding, I guess, while it's dissecting. Okay, the next question says that the students placed um, dead SG on microscopes with a low magnification to observe the spiracles. Great. In the space below, draw an appropriate biological drawing to show an open and a closed spiracle. You must label your diagram clearly. Okay, so our diagram would look something like this. For example, uh, one second. So, an open and a closed spiracle. So I guess I could draw this one spiracle there and another spiracle there. Oops, obviously much better drawn than this. Another spiracle there. So it says to draw an open and a closed spiracle. So a closed spiracle would look something like this. And an open spiracle would look something like this. And it says to therefore label each of the parts. Well, okay, I guess we can label them then. So if we look at this part here, so the bits that are drawn are the valves, okay, which are used to sort of keep the um, spiracle closed. Okay, so that and that represents the valves. And then what else could I label? Well, I guess I could label which part is open and which part is closed. Okay, so this would be oh, this would be closed, and this here would be open. Okay, I'd make sure that my diagram follows the biological rules, namely that the drawing is accurate, that it is labelled, okay, the valves have been labelled, open and closed, it's been labelled, I guess I could label the um, external membrane if I wanted to, um, and that the drawing has no shading, no sketching, no interlocking lines, and a sharp pencil is used, and then I can also add on a magnification, okay, or some sort of scale bar um, using some maths and my ruler, okay. Next question says to use figure B and figure C to suggest why the students were told to let the lower blade of this lower blade of the scissors pull SG up slightly. Okay, so if we look back at stage five, it says 
hold back the tip of the abdomen with forceps to pierce it down. With fine pointed scissors, pierce the exoskeleton, as shown in figure B. As you cut, let the lower blade of your scissors pull SG up slightly. So it says use figure B and figure C, okay? So figure B in relation to figure C, right? So if we're cutting here in order to pierce the in order to pierce the exoskeleton and remove it, that must mean that beneath this, logically, the organs are there. So by letting the lower blade of my scissors pull the insect up slightly, that will prevent any damage to these organs that are here, okay? These, whatever the organs are, they will less likely be damaged if I pull SG as well. So this question, you've got to use some logical thinking. Um, so less likely to damage any internal organs, okay? Which is obviously, you know, there would be no point in doing the practical to observe the organs if the organs are damaged. It's just one risk associated with this practical and explain how we could be dealt with, okay? So base practical, there's lots of different things that we can consider. So, for example, um, scalpel is sharp, so could cut self, therefore cut away from self. Or DDT is poisonous slash harm, so it could cause cancer, it could kill your cells, it could just kill you. So ensure soda lime bag is in place or work in a well-ventilated environment. Okay, to give one risk and how to deal with it. Locust or the insect could be harmful by damage, it could damage you, could escape. So place into the syringe and kill it immediately. So any reasonable suggestion and valid prevention will get you two marks. However, saying things like take care when you handle it will not will probably not get you the mark as the examiners were looking for something very specific and a very specific reason of how to deal with the problems based on whatever context they give you.